Namaste and welcome back to Grow With The Jam Family. Today I wanted to share with you my shopping experience um, because I feel like the world needs India to make the wonderful goods. We would love for people to pull out of China as many companies as they can and start making wonderful products from India. Um, made in India. We know Modi has opened the doors, is trying to tell companies they're welcome to come in, not as much red tape, and we know it will take some time, but I feel like the end result will be amazing. We have gone, I went into the shop. Now, I don't want to talk about the store. This is one of the stores near us and the brand names. I was curious to see different brands that all were made in China. Every single thing that I went to get, that I went to pick up, and I checked more than one company to make sure before I picked something. And these were things we needed for our house. You know, I went to get some regular stuff that we always buy, diapers and things, wipes and, and um, snacks and food and stuff. Most of the stuff is made in the USA or made, you know, some of the, the products are brought from Mexico. Um, once in a while we find clothing made from India or Bangladesh, but the amount of stuff that said made in China. Now what sparked this was my husband went to go get a, a smaller TV for the bedroom. And when he went in, he looked at, I don't know, 20 different TVs and he had a really hard time finding one that did not say it was made in China. And he refused to spend a couple hundred dollars because he didn't want to buy one that's made in China. We have been trying to be very good about checking products before we buy it. But noticing even online, like Amazon and different places, don't always tell you where the product was made in. And even with pictures, you can't always see the fine print that says where, it, where it's made in. Or it says made in the USA, and then underneath that it will say products came from China, or materials came from China. Um, we have been trying not to add to the $500 billion deficit that we have with the China trade, free trade. Anyways, so for one, when I walked in the store, I saw all these adorable little masks and I was all excited because the kids have been wanting to go outside and we have not let them in the shops and we have not let them in anywhere. And I was like, oh, nice. They have kids ones, cars and pink ones for Angie and all different kinds of things. And I flipped them over to see where they were made in. And every single mask was made in China. Every single mask that I thought the kids would like or that I thought we would use. Now we had made some of our own, but I was like, oh, these are cute. They have cars on them or Barbie on them or something I thought the kids would really enjoy. And I put them all back because every single one of them said made in China. I had to go dig around in a different start somewhere in the middle of the store to find some that said made in the USA. Now I did find some online that were made in India um, that were cute. They were little dinosaur ones, but the, they weren't going to come for like two months. So I didn't order those. I did find some that were made in the USA. But like I said, I wish there was more stuff that was made in India or had that lion symbol on it. And then I went to look for stuff that we needed for the house. So light bulbs, we needed some more light bulbs. And I thought, oh good, there's three, four different brand names. One of them has to not be made in China. Every single one of them was made in China. All different brand names, the store brand, and then two other brand names all said made in China. And then I went, we needed a new shower curtain in our bathroom, and I was like, oh, I'll get one. And again, three or four different products, all different company names. So I was like, okay, one of them has to be made in the USA or made in a different country. Nope. Only one said it was a product of the United States of America, but it was made in China. And I know like vitamins, a lot of our vitamins come from China. Um, there's a lot of stuff. We, we need to bring some of this back home to the U.S. And we need to find places that have similar values, that have similar um, beliefs that 
are not going to steal our information or find out what we're making and patent it before we do. We need to find a place like India that we can trust, that we have good relations with, that have, are one of the largest democracies in the world. We need to bring some of these products back home and make them here. You know, I go online and I have a hard time finding stuff that's just made in the USA. Um, and like I said, a lot of the online stuff is hard to see if you buy from places like Amazon that have lots of different companies that they get it from. It's hard to always tell where it's made in. And so, like we've said before, consumers are going to buy what's convenient, what's easy, and what they need. I had to buy them. I, I refused to buy a mask made in China. I bought some that were made in the USA. I was going to buy some that were made in India. Um, I still may buy them. They were really cute for the boys. And, um, but we needed light bulbs. So I had three companies and they were all made in China. So I went with the cheapest ones because we needed some light bulbs. Like, I'm not going to drive all over town. And if I order them online, are they going to be in the same place? Like, I'm finding that that's the case. You know, we needed a shower curtain. I went and looked at baby stuff, too, because we needed some baby stuff. And the same thing. More than one company, and they're all saying, in the back, made in China. And so I'm like, even though it's a different company, they're still outsourcing all their stuff to China. So, needless to say, we would like to see Made in India. The world needs a place that's secure, that has similar values, that will make beautiful stuff, and that we trust. Made in India. Appaneer. Like, made in India. We need self-reliant India to bring some of that stuff back home because we know the trade there is so $50 billion a year um, with China. And I heard that it went down to somewhere like $35 billion. Um, Modi had gotten it down. But still, that's still a lot of money that you're shipping stuff from China that we know India can make itself. We know. So we are waiting for all these beautiful, beautiful things that will come from India. And um, I, I'm waiting for the day that the store opens and I see lots of tags with a lion on it that says made in India, because that would make me so happy. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.